with beer. Hey, podcast kittens, it's Kathy Cat and... And Lady Bear coming to you again with another soul-destroying... That's a bad adjective. Soul-destroying? Soul-nourishing soul episode of... Cat, Cat with Bear! Yum, 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 with yum. the amazing Kaho Shibuya. Yes, Kaho Shibuya! Yeah. Oh, yay. No, today what happened when I went to school, I was mm. running with a toast in my mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a normal school day, but from mm. the skies fell Lady Beard. Mm. Yeah. Turns out we didn't just bump into each mm. other there before school. Actually, when I went into my classroom, mm. turns out Lady Beard is the new exchange student. Mm. And everyone is talking about Lady Beard. How would you like to be included in our cat mm. with beard lore? I do senpai or sensei. Oh, yes. do you want to be sensei? Be, be, be an appropriate Oh, yeah, we, we're coming. Also. You can be sensei. Okay. Can you oh, maybe wow. introduce the... Okay, I'm coming to my classroom. <laughs> I'm sitting down in my seat. Mm-hmm. And I thought, that was a crazy moment this mm-hmm. morning. And then the sensei says, <laughs> we have an exchange student. <laughs> oh, we have an exchange student who oh. is like obviously wonderful. Can you introduce yourself? Hey! <laughs> this is Lady Beard, exchange student from Adelaide, South Australia. Very oh. happy to be here today. Free major exchange student. Thank you. I fell on her this morning. <laughs> Yeah, we got our to out this morning. It's the only thing I understood. And then I have like, probably like the anime in thought where people mm-hmm. don't say anything. Either I stand up and go like, ah, it's you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or I have the internal voice of going, I have no idea what he was just saying. Mm-hmm. Very difficult. <laughs> yes. You should go with, ah, it's you, because that will be more, more public yeah. and ah, easy. Ah, it's you. Mm. Sure is. You <laughs> fell on me this morning. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> This is perfect. So we picked Aww. up some wonderful anime tropes mm-hmm. here for the start of us. I, I, I love it already. <laughs> yeah. I love it already. Turns out you have like some superpowers as well because obviously oh, wait, you're really? here at the cat with so beard. So I can just turn into magical girl and then... And, yeah, oh, if like, that's your oh, superpower, wow. we can all turn... Mm. Turns out we all three of us turn mm. into magical girls yeah. and oh, wow. we have to save the world from bad voiceovers and animations. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 It's important. It's important. Exactly. Crucial. And our topic today is being an otaku, being a lover of anime, mm. manga, mm. gaming, all the shenanigans. So that's <laughs> our topic for today. All right. Which we started off with all the lovely tropes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, so, so <laughs> can we have the beat again? Do you, I'm not sure if we're going to get it as good as that. Burnt, burnt, burnt. Content creator. Anisong DJ. Singer. Published author. Streamer. Singer. Content creator. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. There's no cue to tell me the end. And also our teacher. For our class. Yeah. Of course, yes, for sensei. That's Cat right. Cat Beard School teacher Kaho sensei. sensei. Yeah. Uh, you, you have to train us in, in the oh, art wow. of, of all the things. Damn. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of beats for the A lot of responsibility, <laughs> that's right. This is your uh, show now. Just welcome to uh, uh, Kaho sensei. from Japan. It's your podcast. <laughs> sensei. Welcome. Okay. So let's start the class. <laughs> okay. The class, t- mm-hmm. talk to us. Sensei, teach mm-hmm. us about what okay. is an otaku. So otaku... Uh, as a definition, well, you can use a term, like a Japanese term otaku, you can use it for anything like train otaku or to be very specific, right? <laughs> you can be, I don't know, like idol otaku, or you can be very specific. But when we usually just say otaku, it's about somebody who loves anime or manga stuff, mainly anime. Oh. And so do you consider yourself otaku? I certainly do. No, oh, yeah? Yeah, but I was... In a previously more than I currently am. Mm. Um, All right, I understand. I'm a bit out of the loop. I I love sensei, 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 sensei. Um, Was otago always a positive term in Japan? No, (laughs) it has been quite a derogatory term, but we took it with pride and we Mm. grew as more like cool otaku. Mm. And now otaku can be very cool sometimes. Uh, I think it depends on the region and generation. So the region. Oh, yeah, because I heard in United States or in some countries like outside of Japan, it still be considered a little bit like they have the term. They have, they have their own term like weeb. So, sure. Right. Uh, and it's still kind of derogatory. So mm. 
Really? Hmm. It's such a strange thing because I always felt like if you were um, into uh, the Japanese stuff, that was always quite badass and cool. That's mm. how I always, was always how I, really? Well, there must be a generational <laughs> shift that yeah. happened. I don't know. And Maybe it depends on the country as well. Yeah, and, and also and even the boom came over. Yeah, and even in the United States, maybe on the West Coast, like where there is Little Tokyo, uh. like oh, LA, and maybe they're more ex- accepting or they mm. actually have. You can find anime knockoff t-shirt at malls mm-hmm. in LA, but maybe not so much on the East Coast, mm-hmm. probably. So. What about in the middle of the country? like? Oh, Central. Um, mm, I've only been to Texas, but I went to anime conventions. So, of course. Yeah. Like, so, of course, anime, everyone right? is right? Yeah. But course. not everywhere. Yeah. Mm. I think like there seems to be like a shift over the last years that brought mm. more and more, made it more pop culture. Before yeah. it was like, kind of like subculture. Mm, definitely. And now it's yep, gone to pop that. culture. I think I that's where we are now. In Germany, mm. you were bullied for being a weeb? Yeah. yeah, we had even like, the, I just remember that this morning, I had like, mm. we were practicing for a Sailor Moon musical or yeah. like in the park and we oh, literally wow. had a group of boys trying to just throw rocks at us. But wow. that's what, that's <laughs> what boys do. <laughs> nah, da dum da dum da It was not but that kind of. But is that because you were doing Sailor Moon or because you were in the park doing something. I, I think there's an accumulation of things. I think we were not cool at the time, <laughs> but in hindsight over the time when we did that show and mm. when we did the musical, that's when the boom started happening. Yeah. That's when conventions were growing right. and growing and then it, now it's a mainstream thing. Last mm. time I went back to Germany it was like major. It was cool Very. to like oh, anime wow. and manga now. It certainly it's cool now. They had like a German Naruto, right? That was kind of cool. <laughs> we, we had like, we, we yeah. voice over everything in Germany. I have to apologize. Yes. We voice over absolutely everything. Oh, it's mm. good. That's good. Yeah, no, yeah. That's it's good. Kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. can sing the song actually. Yeah, you can sing it in German. German? Not at all? The German Please. Naruto, the opening song. Please. You just start with like Naruto, and uh, it's kind of like a hip hop style, <laughs> like Naruto, and like. Uh, they start singing like believe it and they never sing in German it's like either English or Japanese oh that's, really that's a yeah. new trend that wasn't before before that we had yeah. like the Sailor Moon was yeah. pretty much there's, there's a recipe for success apparently mm-hmm. with German songs first of all we totally ignore the Japanese or- original and throw mm-hmm. it in the trash which I also think is very bad mm-hmm. so for the Sailor Moon opening we, we trashed the original song and mm-hmm. we just had this random person I think it was Mani S Andy Kinoto who mm-hmm. came together and we're just like okay we're gonna put in believe we're gonna put in <laughs> the name Sailor Moon several times and and her attack. And that's pretty much it. Can you it. bust it out? You remember the lyrics? Can you bust out yeah. some German Sailor Moon? Oh, God. Sag das Zauberwort und du hast die Macht. Halt den Mondstein fest und spür die Kraft. Du kannst es tun. Oh, Sailor Moon. Kämpfe für oh. den Sieg über Dunkelheit. Folge deinem Traum von Gerechtigkeit. Du kannst es tun. Oh, Sailor Moon. Hold on. Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Oh, Sailor Moon. Oh, Sailor Moon. <laughs> Mondstein flieg und sieg, es ist so weit. Oh, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, oh, Sailor Moon. There we go, ten wow. Sailor Moons in That's one wow. very quick so opening. Repetitive. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds beautiful, like, your voice is beautiful. It's your lovely voice, doesn't yeah. it? It's Thank fantastic. <laughs> wow, it's so different. The lyrics are not that removed from <laughs> Sailor Moon. Uh, <laughs> definitely not what the original song said. Not but. The original oh, song. Nah, no, but look, you know, it sort of makes some sense <laughs> somewhat. So yeah, that, that was the old recipe mm. uh, where we pretty much just like, let's trash the original song mm. and repeat the name of Naruto. They seem to be still yeah. doing that. They <laughs> sound like Sasuke is really cool. And na- wicka, wicka. Yeah, and Sakura is beautiful. <laughs> That's uh, how they run. Uh, <laughs> Is, is, is the rapping was even weird. Yeah, <laughs> just ignore the original. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's a licensing thing. Maybe we're just mm. German and too stingy to actually buy the original licensing. I don't mm. know what happened there. It's a bit of a shame. But hey, maybe they just want to market and sell mm-hmm. their own song, their own made songs, which yeah, they actually do a lot there as well. Um, sensei, hi, sensei. Um, what anime got mm. you into liking anime, sensei? Mm. My first anime was probably either Sailor Moon or Dragon Ball, some that kind of generation. Or <laughs> yeah, that's but I think as a kid, like it's natural for you to watch anime. Mm-hmm. It's like basically a cartoon. Mm. And so you don't really consider yourself otaku because mm. it's just your kid. You're just watching you know, cartoons. You know, yeah. Like mm. watching anime, just like you're saying. And you know, watch Sentai and I can watch Kamen Rider and stuff. Like if you're a boy Kamen Rider and if you're a girl maybe Pudicure. At the time, it wasn't pretty cure, but you know, just 
I love that's the Power Rangers. That's very popular now, the Pootie yeah. Crew. Yeah, Freaky Hero is popular. I love the Power Rangers. Mm. Like, oh, you yeah. know, you just watch it as a kid, right? right? I think it's that transition when you keep yes. liking it in yes. school when you're like middle school. That's when yes. you find out, are you, do you still like it or do you graduate from right. it? Right. So it was middle school for me. Hmm. And then I met Digimon. Oh. Ah. And it was like Sunday morning. And I was going to, oh, I went to Christian school, like Protestant oh. school. So it's not Catholic, so it's not too bad, but mm. <laughs> it's not too strict. But we had to go to church on Sunday morning. Mm. And eventually oh. I started skipping because of Digimon. <laughs> That's when I just kind of <laughs> converted myself. Converted into, yourself? Yes, the otaku. Sorry, okay. Jesus, but this is important. Yeah, okay. right. You know, I chose this vision <laughs> over <laughs> yours. So oh, gosh, I have, I have the Digimon happened. song stuck in my head now. Oh, yeah. Well, Digimon für dich begleiten. Oh, yeah, the so best yeah. friend aller Zeiten. <laughs> yeah, wow. I knew that. It was you gonna be so you broke the seal of the German oh, anime no. songs. It's pouring out now. Wow. <laughs> I dubbed um, a couple of the Digimon mm. movies. Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, my gosh. Yeah. Who did you dub? Uh, the only one I remember, there was the small yellow Tyrannosaurus. Was his name? Oh, Age, Age yes, something. Uh, Agumon? 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 Yeah, yeah. Agumon. yeah, I did him. Oh, yeah, yeah, no! oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was we did a series of the movies and mm. everyone changed characters every movie. Oh, so I, I can't remember who else I was. Oh, wow. That's the only one I remember. Pretty sweet, yeah. damn. <laughs> so Digimon changed your life. Yes, I, I did Digimon in my musical group, and oh, you wow. actually voiced Digimon. <laughs> yeah. Damn, there we go, this. Digimon. We have the Digimon like a... community. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. We're the we are the Digimon. That was a... oh, don't know. <laughs> That fell on its ass Digimon, totally. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon. I was going to say, we are the digital monsters, and I realized that's the name of the show. And I was like, <laughs> Damn it, I need a different pun. It didn't work. All right, all right. Sensei. Hi. Sensei, Sensei. Hi, Gatsun. What's your favorite anime now? Now? <gasps> of all time or like of recent ones? Oh, tell us both, Sensei. <laughs> tell us both. Time, uh, favorite anime of all time and favorite recent anime. Mm. It's a top three if you want. That is so hard. Of all time? I would probably say uh, I have to name Evangelion because at the time oh, it was so new. Yeah. Like now we have so many average anime and so many average characters. Mm. <laughs> like at the time, yeah, Asuka and like Asuka, the quintessential Tsundere girl. Yeah, the very first yeah. big Tsundere, right? Yeah, right? And she was there before the term no. was even there. I know, and Ray was such a quintessential Kudere, but now. The, they didn't have those concepts. Mm-hmm. At the time, it was so new and different. Even the gigantic robot, it just like it looks so weird. It's mm. just like, oh, the limbs so long, and then <laughs> what is the coloring? And then they have kind of brought it's kind of gory. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was so different from other anime at the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it broke so many conventions. Yeah, it just started a lot of new things. So I have to say, like, Ever, if we're gonna have a textbook about anime, like what is anime, like history book about anime, then it has to be in it. Uh, oh. and it yeah, Evangelion. Good yes. point, good choice, good choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, name choose, one, give us more. Good choice, good choice, good choice. What was a good choice? There we go. <laughs> good choice. Good choice. <laughs> and what about right now, Kaho uh, Sensei? What are you watching now? Damn. Right now, actually, right now, I've been binge watching Power Rangers. Actually, oh, wow, really? Because nice. I didn't grow up with Power Rangers. I yeah. grew up with like regular Sentai in Japan. And I kind of wanted what my fan grew up with. So uh, I've been binge watching. I'm still in Lost Galaxy, which is 1999. <laughs> Hold on. Question. <laughs> yes. Are you? Does that mean you are watching the Japanese Power Rangers or the American no, Power Rangers? No, the Power Ranger is just American franchise. Yeah. And we don't call Sentai series as Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. It's just Americanized version of... Sentai series. So you're watching so, the American version yes, right now. Yes, and I'm remembering, because right now I'm watching Lost Galaxy, which is Ginga Man, which was originally Ginga Man in Japan, and kind of remember Ginga Man. So I was like, it's kind of interesting how they change the characters ah, right. in the story. So oh, I, that's interesting. I was always wondering, mm. are Japanese people not mm. offended? Because Ooh. they kind of took out all the Japanese actors. Instead of taking mm-hmm. the show with the Japanese mm. actors, they take them completely out, right? You don't ever right. see them. They replace them with some like mm-hmm. American actors. And in the fight scenes, you kind of, oh, suddenly in the fight scenes. You, and suddenly mm-hmm. when they get bigger and they fight in the big mechas, right. suddenly it's Tokyo. If yes. you look closer, oh, it's like right. road signs everywhere. Yes, so. Yes. I, in a way, some people have said, is it a bit whitewashed? How does Japan mm. feel about it? How do people feel about it? I, I personally enjoy that. Like, even 
when I eat like, Japanese food in America or somewhere else, like, oh, this is how it's been changed. Kind of. mm. I'm actually an avocado in sushi. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, well, thank you so much for people in California for putting avocado in sushi. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. Oh, it's kind of unique, and I kind of like the culture change. But I'm like, I, I can understand like, some people feel offended, but I mean, obviously, if you're going to just import the toy version of Sentai to America, it just... I can just definitely see it's not going anywhere. You mm-hmm. got it just old Japanese actors. Um, and I love American version because it's more diverse and it's very America. Mm-hmm. So it should reflect their own culture if you want to go bigger. And at the time, like, what is Japan? What is Japanese? Mm-hmm. You know? So I totally understand. Uh, so you think it, it, it helped actually the franchise yeah. reach a broader audience? Definitely, definitely. Now maybe kind of like what I do now, maybe some Power Ranger fans are interested in the whole, what's the original Sentai? Mm. And they just go back. So mm. My old wonderful. manager mm-hmm. um, loved it when um, that happened, when a Japanese mm. IP got taken to the mm. United States and then got recast with American actors. Yeah. So when uh, the Ghost in the Shell movie happened, mm. that everyone was upset about, she was really proud of it because she was like, it's our mm-hmm. content. Mm-hmm. And now we have this A-list Hollywood actress mm-hmm. playing the lead and I feel very proud of it. So yeah. it is very interesting how these opinions mm-hmm. differ. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's sometimes I think Japan is very forgiving about a lot of things as right. well. Japan seems to be very like, I am glad you're interested in my culture. The same <laughs> thing, like it takes so long to ex- describe the word mm. weeb to mm. a Japanese person yeah. because there's there, people are generally very grateful if you're interested mm. in their culture. They say, okay, well, it's a foreigner who likes anime and manga mm. a lot. They know more than I do. Great. You know, there's no, ooh, I don't like you talk so much about anime and manga mm. kind of thing. So Yeah, I know I have a lot of American friends or American chat who uh, they kind of feel sorry about, well, like, they actually say I'm sorry or we are sorry as Americans when we talk about Dragon Ball Evolution, mm. the Harriet movie. And they're oh. kind of ashamed of drug, uh, Dragon Boy version, the Harriet version of it. Oh, but I was yeah. like, I was kind of amused by. When, like, of course, they had so many throws, <laughs> but, mm. like as adaptation. But I kind of enjoyed it. Oh, this is kind of like Dragon Ball Nine Hundred Two and All. It was like a westernized in an oh. interesting <laughs> way. <laughs> right. Um, so Japanese people seem to be able to like see it as something completely different. And like, ah, oh, yeah. you tried. Like. Yeah, and it was so grateful that they took Japanese content into Hollywood. Now, like, we have a lot of Netflix adaptations, but mm. it was the very first one. And, yeah. like, wow, Harriet noticed Dragon Ball, and like, we love Dragon Ball, and we, we appreciate that it's been noticed by America. So, mm. yeah. Yes. Yes. I need to ask that now. This might get a little yeah. bit controversial. I'm uh-huh. going to bring this in since you mentioned Netflix uh-huh. and you mentioned that you cosplay like, <laughs> characters from One Piece. Yes. What thoughts about the One Piece Netflix adaptation <laughs> coming soon? I'm actually very excited because. Or the sensei that Mangaka himself is quite involved. Mm-hmm. So, and if he's involved, then I mean, if he's excited, then we're excited. Mm. But so I, they didn't take yeah. it out of his mm. hands, which they seem to do with a couple right. of the old past movies. You're oh. a good fan. That's a good <laughs> attitude you. to have. Thank mm. you. Ah. But at the same time, I feel like live action adaptations are more for known fans. Like if they never watched anime or if they never read the manga, then it's for them. Because mm. that's how I got in into uh, GTO. Uh, I noticed GTO from TV series, the TV live action adaptation mm. uh, acted by Sorimachi Takashi, mm. uh, right. Japanese actor, <laughs> yeah. and also Psychometra Eiji because they were from Shonen magazines, mm. not Shonen Jampu. And I was just a big fan of Shonen Jampu and I thought only Shonen Jampu mattered in manga <laughs> at the time as a kid. Uh, so I didn't notice any, of, uh, any other content from other magazines. Well, because of those amazing live action shows, like, oh, these manga seem interesting. Which, why, don't, why don't I just try? And like, oh, wow, I love them. So, wow. yeah, I kind of appreciate those live action shows in it, a way. In a way. Hmm. Does it make it like a, a book movie kind of thing? Some mm. people prefer the book, but some people watch the movie and therefore yeah. they read the book. Is mm. that kind of a thing? Yeah, definitely. So if you watch the real life adaptation, it mm. might get you interested in the anime or even the manga kind mm. of thing. Yes, definitely. And I think maybe if you're a classmate against the idea of uh, being otaku, but they might be interested in real life actors, you know, like Tom Cruise, or like, they might be fascinated by those real people, but maybe not 2D characters. 
that. Mm. But they, you can probably bring them into the right. studio staff. Right, right. right. Could mm. be their gateway. Mm-hmm. Into Definitely. Yeah. How many minutes remain in this malarkey? Ten minutes. Ten. Oh, oh right. Cool. Um, oh, I'm curious. Uh, how how did you get a job as a judge for an anime oh, award? Yeah. So they started doing nomination for judges, mm-hmm. and I asked my fans, like, "Do you think I'll be able to?" And then my fans were so supportive, and so I could. <laughs> yeah, hang on. So, so I'm sorry. So, yeah. I, so I just let the people know about this, hmm. but do not know this. You judge cosplay contest. Uh no, actually, uh, Crunchyroll anime uh, anime awards. So, so anime. Oh, awards. the yeah. anime. I thought. This was, I'm sorry. I totally misunderstood. Mm. Tell tell me and the people what the thing is. <laughs> So they have international anime awards uh, on Crunchyroll, and they have been like they have been asking fans, like viewers, that hey, why don't you nominate your judges? And oh. I have been nominated, and I've been nominated t- uh, two years in a row. Wow! So, yes. Wow, man, <laughs> it's very impressive. As a judge, mm. what do you actually like? H- how do you? Criticize or how do you decide on a good anime? What are your like points of selection? There are genres like best animation or best score, like music or best couple, (laughs) or yes, or best action. Well, there are like different genres, and us uh, like a one hundred percent otaku. When I I try to nominate lesser known shows, like not just the mainstream shows, Mm. even though the mainstream shows like deserve their claim because. No, they're really good. That's mm-hmm. why they're mainstream. But I try to name shows that probably not everyone knows. Mm-hmm. But I'm just one of the judges, so I no, Ooh. it's not always successful. <laughs> but how many judges are there total? Sorry, there are so many. I guess uh, more than fifty. It depends on the year. Fifty? Oh. I thought it was like yeah. right. three of you. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Okay. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Did you, you said you you nominate mm-hmm. like the kind of underdog? What is kind of an like underdog anime that's not mm-hmm. so known yes. that we should check out? I have been nominated. There is a best boy category. Mm-hmm. Best, best boy. boy. So when you say best boy, probably like a good boy, right? Uh. Like best as in, no, no. Good and best, like better. Good, better, best. Oh, so okay. I just thought about good boy. And then I've been nominating two years in a row because they had a sequel. Uh, it's a show called Mairi Mashita Iruma-kun. It's a Japanese title. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think English title is like, um, well, Iruma-kun, but probably Demon School Iruma-kun, mm-hmm. something like that. Okay. And it's a comfy show. Um, the ball is so, so good. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's incredibly good. It had a sequel, and it's on NHK, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yes. And he, just, he just cannot say no, and he's been so nice to everybody. And I've been nominating him in the past two years and hasn't been staying in the final because the show is not just not known enough. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, one day, <laughs> well, yeah, the power of Kaho Shubia yeah, is required to make Please. the show famous. <laughs> Hang on, I'm sorry. When you say a good boy, yes, are you talking about nice boys? Oh, right? Okay, all right, mm. that's, that's nice. I'm <laughs> glad that there's a category for nice yeah. boys. Yeah, not like man, man, <laughs> just nice boys. Nice, yeah. nice. Mm. not going to upset Best anybody. Boy. Mm-hmm. Best boy. Best boy. It sounds a little bit like the prefects at school, doesn't it? Is the best mm, boy, boy. Oh, the head prefect? I, I didn't have that at school. We don't mm. have that in Deutsch and no. Yeah, it's mm. a German school. We only go to school and we go home. Okay. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> None of that stuff. That's not efficient. Is there a mm. best girl category? Oh, yes. Girl category? Best girl category, too. But now, are there the worst boy and worst girl category? Uh, there is a like best antagonist category. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. It's like a best Buren kind of way. Okay. Mm. I, I'm I'm so curious about mm. more like underdog anime that no one knows about that you would like mm. people to watch. Underdog anime. Wow. Well, I think eventually because of the power of the internet, some people actually like recognize some of the mm. shows. So it's kind of hard to pick it if it's not known that much. Uh, I noticed that Higurashi, you mm. know, the Higurashi hasn't been known that much. Not the recent series. Like older Higurashi, that was back in 2006, actually, I think, uh, was known, but not the new Higurashi, which was pretty bad, actually. Oh. <laughs> but oh, yeah. I kind of wanted to talk about how bad it was with my fan. <laughs> but <laughs> no one actually watched it. It was so horrendously bad. Oh, like, man. oh wow, really? Yeah. Was it as bad as the new Battle at Le- Leeds? Because <laughs> they just took the character mm. looks and changed everything oh, about wow. it. That was terrible. <laughs> Mm. And actually, the character design was more current, and mm. it was designed by the Monogatari series. So 
one of the time she was character designer. So it looked, the look was fine, and it started very scary and very it was suspense. Then it became somehow very ridiculous, and then those main two characters they were fighting against each other, but they're fighting in a way like Dragon Ball fights. Like oh. they just started okay. flying around and they just started kind of attacking each other, like Vegeta and <laughs> Goku and. Yeah, there was one time, like they're both girls, by the way. Okay. And this one girl used a frying pan and then just smashed the other girl's head. Mm-hmm. But I think it's supposed to be kind of scary, but it was just incredibly funny. It was like <laughs> frying pan on the face, and then she dies, and then just. Oh my gosh, she just died <sighs> death by frying pan. Yeah, they're just trying to kill each other because in if one of them dies, then the time can go back. It's a time loop scene. Oh. So they want to go back to the past by killing each other. So oh, okay. It's supposed to be sad, but it was just so funny. <laughs> like, so huh. you, you, you hang out with your fans and you discuss anime, yeah. that kind of stuff mm-hmm. as well, and like criticize new episodes, <laughs> yes. kind of stuff. Pretty much. Is there a worse anime, worst anime award? What gets the worst? Worse. I... In the award, we don't talk about the worst thing. Okay, <laughs> right? you, you don't have positive. to if you don't yeah. want Do you have an opinion to express, however? I didn't like Japan Sinks on Netflix. Uh, Japan Sinks. Japan, Japan Sinks. Sinks. Yeah, oh, Sinks. Sinks. Okay. Yeah, sorry. yeah, Japan Sinks. I think it was 2020 or 21. I forgot. What happens in Japan Sinks? Oh, it is about. There are a lot of different versions of Japan Sinks, actually, like live action mm, adaptations, too. And it's based on very old novel. But. The anime is completely different. Really? And they just keep giving off the characters, but in, again, in a ridiculous way really? sometimes. Mm. And sometimes we don't understand why they did that like, because there was no suspense, there was no reason. Um, oh, look, I don't want to spoil the end, but in the end, they bring this... Turns out this one important character was actually like a transgender. And like we didn't know... Like, they didn't let us you know, wonder like at all. It was just in the end, they just brought it in. Just surprise. Yeah, like okay. we could like, maybe like you know talk okay. more about it. But like, why did you bring it? Just to be diverse, you know? Mm. Uh, it oh, felt like uh, just yeah. like because it's twenty twenty or twenty twenty one. Like mm. why do we just add something because? is the age like it's very mm. current so they yeah. add it for the sake of adding it but they don't actually yeah. really they just it's like like trope yeah. like, or like a token 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 I diversity know. but actually not really letting yeah. that character speak for themselves and mm. give and adding explaining or adding any kind of content to that exactly yeah. so I was a little bit disappointed but the art was great so art well, uh, that's a mm. positive mm. yes Sensei. hi Otaku. Otaku. So, so otaku in, in Japan and mm. otaku abroad, are they different? Mm, I don't particularly think so, actually. Mm. But still, the That's term otaku, only otakus know the term otaku mm-hmm. in, in English. So I think some of them are, some of them know the term weeb, but not really otaku. So I don't think it's resonated that much yet, to be honest. In Japan, Everyone knows what otaku means, mm. but not in English yet, unless you're otaku, right? Mm. Mm. What do you reckon? Uh, I think, yeah, that's like a cultural world that is kind of in, in the... Mm. If, you, if you know the word otaku, which you say really yeah. well, then you kind of know about anime, manga, that kind mm. of stuff. You d- wouldn't really know the word otaku. It's not... It, mm. At least as far as last time I checked, it wasn't really in the dictionary. Maybe right? it's going to like the word kawaii. Maybe mm. it's going to put, be put into the dictionaries now, or maybe it is in there now. Mm. But until then, it was kind of like a... Because, yeah. again, we're starting at the beginning of the of this podcast where we, it was a subculture and mm. now it's a pop culture so exactly. i think that has changed a lot but if you're if you're a pretty um standard issue a uh, human being mm. and you uh, go to work or school or whatever and then you mm. play soccer after hours and then you like to watch a little bit of, uh, just you know uh, the occasional season of an anime on the weekend or you, you like to slap on the playstation on a mm. friday night does that make you an otaku Tricky. I think if you play games and you just call yourself gamer, okay. not mm. otaku. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. If you just watch something, you just watch Netflix, I guess. But I think it depends on how passionate are you about it. Mm -hmm. How how much do you actually get involved? In? Is it a hobby or is it just like a, something to kill the time? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you start actually going into cosplay, there's no casual about that, right? You're mm -hmm. already trying to right. be that character, pose as that character, hop into the role of the character. Mm -hmm. So that's like a step further. We had a professional cosplayer here mm -hmm. with us in the podcast, Yuriko mm -hmm. Tiger. What was your point of saying mm -hmm. like, I want to be that character? Uh, for me, it was more like trying to get involved in the industry in some way. Mm -hmm. And I think cosplaying was actually, I thought it could be my thing because mm -hmm. I have this particular body style. And just, I thought I could portray a character that no one else could. Mm, you have like the anime physique, like mm -hmm. if, if that's okay to say. Was that, was that okay to <laughs> say? You, you have the anime physique. Yeah. And she has this this cute Whoa, tiny face and the big you. eyes. It's, it's <laughs> all there, the whole, the whole package. Uh -huh. You're the whole package. Thank you. You mentioned in mm -hmm. our first episode with you mm -hmm. that the Darling in the Franks costume was quite mm. pricey. How much was it actually? Uh, 2,500 USD, mm. something like that. That's a chunk of change. Mm. Is that your I mean, most the yen is much weaker now, so I <laughs> get that much. <laughs> <laughs> get that much yeah. worse, what? Oh. what is your most expensive cosplay you've ever done? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the one because that was custom made and it took so much time. Mm. Yeah. Why did you decide to spend twenty five? Well, because I couldn't find a cosplay on Amazon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it had to fit your body because it's so tight. Mm. You know, it's such a tight suit. So it had to be custom made. And yeah, I wanted it to have a specific look. Mm. Just kind of sparkly and kind of glistening. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted this particular look. That's why. Mm. Otherwise, I could just have the red suit because I had the white suit. Mm. But I couldn't find the white suit on Amazon. They all, always had the red one. That's it. And it looks so cheap. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, why do I? So I, you have, sorry. I admire your dedication. It would have mm. been an easy choice to half ass. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say? Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay, like, yeah. 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 It's like the dedication of you can mm. tell that you love it so much that you're not just like, mm. you know what, I'll just slap this on. Because mm. there's, there's more and more people who just slap on a character and mm. stream with it and they don't even know the character. Right. So they're just like, yay, I'm, I'm a... Mm. And slap name on mm. it don't even know the name mm. or something like that so you actually have the love mm. of the character behind you uh, right I actually uh, invited another YouTuber and uh, made a cosplay video like how to make original cosplay huh. and then uh, so I made a content out of it so mm. <laughs> it worked Kaho Shibi is the real thing people she's the <laughs> real she's thing the real she's the real king. she loves deal. what she's doing 100% mm. are we out of time what's going on with the time Oh, three, three minutes, minutes. left. Perfect. Perfect. It was wonderful to have you here on this yeah. podcast. Thank you. Is there anything upcoming, anything you'd like to promote, mm. anything you would like people mm. to know about? Oh, I definitely want them to tune in to my Twitch streaming, mm. if that's possible, but I don't have a schedule, so I'm too whimsical. <laughs> Just if you follow, you will see the Yeah, notification please like, follow me on somewhere, like Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. Yeah, somewhere. And I hope you find me again on YouTube, maybe somewhere. <laughs> and your book is going to get released oh, in yes, English yes, yes, soon. Yes, yes. I'm been writing on intro and outro, so hopefully soon enough. <laughs> Good, congratulations! Fantastic. That is fantastic. And the next convention you're going to hit? Yes, uh, TwitchCon in San Diego in October, and then after that, two weeks after that, I'm going to Seattle for North Fest Idol Fest. Okay. Great. Enjoy yeah. conventions. Whichever. Everyone who's in the United States, get on it. Thank you. Um, and so your your handle on the Insta and the Twitter and all the mm. things at Kaho at, Shibuya? Uh, Shibuya Ka at Shibuya Kaho. Sorry. Shibuya Kaho, both. Wait. Shibuya Kaho is S H I B U K H H O on Twitter and Instagram. Both bad on Twitch. Oh, Shibuya Kaho. Shibuya Kaho, yes. No, yeah. No, it's just. Kind of abbreviated. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Japanese way. <laughs> Fair enough. And on Twitch, someone stole your name, so you had to change uh, it? Oh, uh, no, actually, because uh, I thought a like, you know, whole name would be easier to remember. So Shibuya Andabar Kaho. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Yeah. All oh, right. Shibuya Andabar Kaho and mm. Lady Beard. Lady Beard mm. underscore Japan mm. on the internet and my group, Baby Beard mm. underscore Japan. Cat the Cat. And Cat the Cat underscore 
TV. We all have also underscores going yeah. on. The Japanese it's, love the underscore. <laughs> Everyone has a Japanese an underscore. In no, this Japanese is because name. we're in the cat with beard school. Mm. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, no, that's this why. That's the reason. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Secret sign to each other. Mm. We have the underscore What's on that the bar. Secret bark? handshake. Do we have a secret it's, handshake? It's, it's, well, we're not even handshake? allowed to touch hands because of COVID nineteen. No, All right. No, oh. None of that. that. We have those glass walls it's here. Sorry, right. it's well. an it's an underscore. That's the same thing. Sensei, thank you so much for a wonderful lecture. Uh, it was wonderful to spend some time with you yeah. here on our Likewise. podcast. Uh, I totally forgot to plug all my stuff. Uh, you sure did. <laughs> <laughs> well, she sure was yeah, I, I, I skipped that. Yeah. Huge. I'm also on, on Twitch, YouTube, mm. Instagram, uh, and uh, the Interweeps and the, I, the Interweeps <laughs> and, and NHK World as well as uh, on Japan Railway Journal. And it was a real pleasure, Sensei. That was a great lesson. Yes. Send us an email, time. nippon at joqr.net. <laughs> You were a great student. Hey, Yay. we've been caught that ball on its way to the ground. <laughs> Carl Shivia, thank you so much for coming no, on Cat with you. Kids, sweetheart. Thank you for having Let's me. Wrap this bad boy up. You're going to cap a bit with us one more time? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always. We'll see you next time on 3, 2, 1. Cat with this No, that's awesome. Check it out. Nah, heaps to look at. Look what Lady Bird did. Fan you. It's a breeze. It's a breeze. It's a breeze. It's good. Sensei.